Hey. Uh, look, look, look. Hey, Dana, you are the best. I fucked Show. up. I made a mistake. Lilia. Ah, damn, my godfather. You know the best. <laughs> he told, he told. When he come and walk, he said, I come here to talk to my puppy because he not give my pension. <laughs> Was amazing. You know, the best. Dana. He love it, Lund. You just said that uh, you don't care about John Jones at heavyweight. Uh, so I'm curious: Do you have any name in your mind if you win uh, on Saturday? Do you do you have somebody you want to call out? Um, I think um, it's one guy that he's been talking trash for years that I want to fight. So okay. McGregor, Con Conor McGregor, he been calling. <laughs> Like every interview, he's been calling me out, so I believe I need to fight him next. Yeah, it's fine if you think that I'm predictable. I don't care, you know. It's, it's, they all know what I'm going to do. Most, I've been having, I had like, this will be my 21st fight, 21 fights in the UFC. And my game plan and my games, the way I fight, my style hasn't changed. Guys yeah, said the same thing before. And, you see that I'm the knockout king, I guess they've been saying. So, you no, know, we'll just see. You know, I'm predictable. Everybody, okay. He's predictable as well. No, my prediction for the fire is to, uh, to take him down and just win by points. And take it to the decision. I think I win by unanimous decision. This wrestling, the whole fight. Being back in the flow of fight week, um, that's exactly it. It's a real nice flow. Everything's super organized here. I'm grateful for all the staff, um, my family. I couldn't do it without you guys and, of course, my backing, my support system, my ohana. Well, there is a long layoff. Um, I think my last fight was in 2019 against Paige Van Zandt. Um, that was a whole roller coaster in itself as well, so it actually was really nice to have a nice layoff. And at the same at the same time, and quarantine, all you know was happening simultaneously, and you know it was kind of like a, a reset. I think not only for me but for everyone, you know, all fighters. No one was really fighting for a little bit. There was like a time where things were up in the air, um, so I came out of it you know being very grateful uh to be able to do what i what i do so yeah i would like to show my whole game you know I, f I still haven't felt that i've ever shown you know my true talents of you know i've been doing this for 10 years and i'm ready to show i'm re i want i'm praying that what i do in the gym can come out in the cage Yeah, I can't handle it at all. Um, my life doesn't doesn't work the same uh, if I'm not getting if I'm not getting a positive result. It just I'm not happy. I can't rest. I'm, I can't sleep. It it bothers me. Um, so 
I'm healthy. I'm, uh, I, I know that there's lots of questions out there about how healthy I am, where I'm at, where I'm at mentally. Um, I mean, I, I hear the chatter, like I hear everybody talking, but uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get back on track. Uh, and there's nothing good that comes from just sitting around feeling bad about yourself. You, you just have to pull yourself back up and you get back in the gym and you just figure it out and you you run back out there. I'm not losing because I'm not good enough. Uh, you know, I, I made a couple mistakes. I had, you know, I, sometimes this game, sometimes the chips just fall and, and sometimes they're in your favor and sometimes they're not. And I've had a string of bad luck. I've had some bad circumstances. I've, you know, I was one of the first shows that or it was the first sporting event that came back during COVID. So there, that was different. I had the break in my house. I, you know, I was banged up here and there. It just sometimes it happens. Uh, and, and I think the quicker people realize that sometimes the, the better it will go for them. It's just, it's a crazy sport. And if your name isn't GSP or Khabib or John Jones, then sometimes that stuff affects you and, and you got to deal with it as it comes. I'm like, if you've known anything about me or you follow my career, you know I talk to it all the time. This is just part of the game for me. It's, it's fun in games. I enjoy the, this part. And uh, I think it's more exciting when two opponents talk a little, they talk a little trash. You build a fight up, you you make it more than just two guys fighting. You know, you give people a reason to care, get them excited to want to watch you guys fight. And uh, I think we're just two competitors. He likes to talk a little bit. I like to talk a little bit too. And, um, you know, I was hoping it wasn't a serious injury because I would like to fight him. I don't want to interim fight. I don't want to interim fight. I want to fight the champ so we can get some clarity in this division and figure out who the hell is the best guy in this division for once and for all. And then we can finally keep things moving. I think he had an easy path to the title. He did his job. The UFC put guys in front of him. He knocked him down. I did the same thing, but I think I fought stiffer competition. You know, so I think I'm the uncrowned king, you know, and... uh I just wanted my opportunity to prove it. That's really it. So I am a little confused by everything, and but I think he's a man in that he's a man and he's a man. He, he's not one of those guys who's like he's gonna fight who they put in front of him. So I'm the next guy in front of him. He's gonna show up. So I, I'm not worried about that. Where some guys in the past, I, I had to wonder if they were gonna actually make it to the fight. So um, yeah, I think like I said, Jan is a, Jan is a He's a man. He's a man's man. You know, he's a fighter fighter and uh, he's going to show up on the night. So I'm just I'm just excited for the opportunity. I just can't wait to finally just figure it out. Ferguson versus Charles Oliveira. I've been asking for this for how long? Two years. Two years I wanted this. Hats off to uh, Tony Ferguson for taking this fight. Charles Oliveira, to me, is the dark horse of this division. He's a guy that could become champion. You look at his skill set. You look uh, at his experience, how he's finishing guys. Now his uh, stand-up, his match, his ground game. He is a mother... Him versus Tony Ferguson is one of the top fights bar none of the year matchup wise they knocked this out the park so are they gonna do chandler versus gaethje because i was told chandler versus ferguson and if you listen to the food truck diary that dropped last week chandler was pretty positive he's gonna fight tony ferguson so i'd assume they do gaethje huh mm -hmm. 